gentlemen, welcome to the Tia Shanley, starting a business, building a brand. This one, Rob, which number? 20, mobile. Big at number mobile 20. So, as you can see, I've got a special guest, one of the founders and the man behind the scenes of getting shit done, Rob Hoxie. Rob, say hey to the guys. Hey, gentlemen, how are you? So, something really exciting happened to me in one of my Facebook groups the other day. Um, there was a comment, somebody posted a picture of a little bottle of Kiehl's moisturizer. And they said, hey, love my Kiehl's moisturizer. And in the comments, one of the guys, maybe it was one of you watching this said, nah, I'm gonna wait for Tiege Hanley. And I was like, dude, nice. that's awesome. It got me so excited. Really? That's cool. Yeah, it was that's really cool. cool. But anyway, guys, why are we driving? Why are, why is he here? What are we doing? Well, Rob, tell them where we're headed. We are headed to our manufacturer, uh, the folks that are going to actually fill, create the products that we came up with, uh, with our with our chemist, and they're going to mix some batches for us, and we're going to test them and make sure they're exactly what we approved from our chemist, and then ultimately they're going to fill them into the tubes and talk to the camera and so forth. Yeah, I, I like talking to you though. <laughs> <laughs> Um, They're much more charming than that's me. That's probably true. <laughs> uh, and, and that's the end of the, day, end of the story. They're going to fill everything and pack it and send it to us, and we're going to ship it to you guys. So here's the deal. So we're headed to the manufacturer, which the crazy thing, and why, you know, I talk a lot about this sort of just being like perfect timing and all sorts of like perfectness mm -hmm. working out surrounding Tiz Hanley. And guess where the lab is that's actually going to be mixing and filling all the product in Marietta, Marietta where I live, where I work. Yeah. And so it all just sort of works out. Um, Rob also is coming down because I'm actually speaking at some big conference on like internet, what is it? E-commerce. E-commerce. E what am I talking about? <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but apparently I'm leading a big round table discussion with a bunch of basically who's who of online retailers. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the guys from Jack Threads are going to be there. Who else is going to be there? Uh, I'm not sure of the list that's going to be at your round table. But that doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yours truly is actually going to be moderating it and Rob's going to be there. Um, and so it's just a great opportunity for him and I to hang out a little bit. But I'm so excited about headed to this, this the lab because yeah. I mean it's it's like that it's like it's real it's, it's like real. we're going we're gonna get timelines we're going to know sort of where we stand on everything yeah. and this is really coming together and I gotta tell you guys honestly this has nothing to do the fact that we're we're utilizing a, a, a partner in Marietta has nothing to do with with Aaron we, we vetted out three or four different manufacturers and these guys came in not necessarily, they're very good, very good pricing wise uh, from a business standpoint, but in business, of course. Not get, the lowest though. Not the lowest, and that's what I was gonna say. You know, you get what you pay for sometimes, right? And these guys have, uh, we think, superior service and understanding of what we're trying to accomplish, and they're gonna help us get there. And so here's the thing. So what we did was, and this is sort of the business lesson of the day. You know, we outsourced, or we, we sent out all these different requests for quotes. Um, we went to three, was it three? Four actually. Four different labs and and companies that will mix up our formula. Because our chemist, he makes it and then we've got to have somebody else all FDA approved. There's a lot of rules and regulations right. surrounding products of this, this magnitude and quality. And so we sourced or we reached out and we're like, hey, you know, here this is what we're going to do. Give us a quote. And the crazy thing is that we're, how many didn't actually even respond? Well, yeah, that's true. We, we actually went to more than three or four. We actually ended up getting three quotes, and we probably went reached out to five or six. So it, that just shows you how busy some of these guys well, are. Well, it's busy, or, but, or lazy. but here's the other thing. You know, sometimes when you're going out and you're trying to find a partner to work with, you know, you you get you know you you don't get taken seriously and i don't know if it was us not being taken seriously because we're the new guys on the block yeah. or whatever but some people didn't feel like they wanted to actually get back to us so they didn't right. you know i personally think it's their loss now with the quotes that we did receive the people that we're using are not actually the lowest, all right? We're gonna spend a little bit more, but what's the big difference, Rob? It's the service, it's the service and we and the trust. 
and uh, credibility I think these guys have for, for understanding what we're exactly trying to set out to do. Um, and these are the guys that, you know, they're the ones that told us, we, you know, we had designed a Ferrari, so. <laughs> yeah, no, but it, it does. It boils down to trust. And during the process, they were there. They were like Johnny on the spot, answering questions, yep. engaging, talking, helping. Responsive. Responsive. They made and us feel like we were, we were L'Oreal or we were the, one of yeah. the big guys, right? And, and some of these other guys, um, I think, they, you know, they didn't want to deal with a startup. And, um, you know, and it showed, you know, and they were, you know, they were taking, they took, one of them took, I think, a month to come up with an, an initial quote. It wasn't even a final quote. I mean, that's just But ridiculous. this just goes to show you guys that a lot of times you will spend a little bit more because if you're getting better and premium service. And in this situation with the people that we're actually using, it is unbelievable service. We all feel very comfortable and confident in their ability to do stuff and to get it done exactly. and just to be responsive like you said Rob and that's the thing it's you know we all we all had these discussions as you know and we're like if these guys are this unresponsive just to get to try to earn our business how is it going to be like in the middle of this whole process when problems arise because here's, so here's the thing guys when you're starting a business if you're dealing with somebody and in the beginning they're not real responsive and they're not getting back to you. That's the best. They're on their best behavior in the beginning. All right. It's you, exactly. It, exactly. It doesn't get better from there. It's sort of like <laughs> I tell people like with a job interview, if somebody comes in and they're dressed like crap on that initial interview, that's the best it's going to get. Everything yeah. else is downhill from there. I'm glad you didn't use the marriage analogy. The marriage analogy. <laughs> well, that too. <laughs> but anyway, guys, so we're going to go, we're going to um, meet the, the, the guy. Well, you've already met him. You've already I've been met, there. I've met Peter. Yep. Um, it's really impressive. He's an impressive guy. Uh, he's been doing this for many, many years, 30, 35 years at least. And, uh, you just can't, you know, we've met a few of them and you can just tell he's really into it and really gets what he's doing and, and enjoys it. So, um, I think you'll be impressed. You can tell me after. I will definitely tell you after. So Peter, you're gonna take us on a tour? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so this is all packaging, right? No, that's warehousing. Warehousing. That's the lab. I hope you don't imagine that. That's the lab. That's where What's Brittany. up, guys? Hey, how's it going? What's yeah, happening? Oh, I didn't know I was gonna be recording. Brittany. Hi. <laughs> what are you gonna do for Tish Hanley? Some awesome stuff. Yeah? Yeah, I'm excited. It is exciting. What all do you have here? This is color mixing. Color. You do it all, huh? I do it all. This is great. <laughs> where are we going next, Peter? Next we go to, I show you our cooler where we put the sensitive raw materials in. Right here. The lights on. There you go. In here are mostly the fragrances. Everything what is temperature sensitive is in here. And also some raw materials there are really stored in a in a quarter of Very you know, cool. They heat Georgia and I'll get really hot in here sometimes. <laughs> well, back here is warehousing. That's where the packaging is. You know, where we keep the tubes, the jars, all those beautiful things. Over there is raw materials, you know, those things we talked about in the meeting. They have those long lead times, so they are stored over there. So this, guys, is what all of the ingredients, they come in in these big 55-gallon yes, drug, jugs. In. And then they break it down and process them. Let's see where it all gets mixed, Peter. That's see where the perfect. magic happens, baby. <laughs> magic happens actually in here. Kelly, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Here's where the magic is. Right here, you see where the pre-way, that's the pre-way station. And here we're in the middle of the production right now. That's where we have those mixing kettles. As you can see, they're all enclosed, you know, the cover comes down, and these are actually sugar scrubs we just made. Sugar scrubs? Yeah, sugar scrubs. So this is where all of the vats... Exactly. And just to give you a... Per hey, Peter, ha ha hold this for a second. Sure. And so, just to give you an idea of size... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here, go to Big Burner, right yeah, there. Look at this bad boy. Huh? Rob, what do you think? Cool. No, so, I mean that one is making uh, over a ton of product in one shot. A ton of product. Yeah. That's crazy. And so you can see, guys, it just got done 
with a batch. Yes. And they can be heated and they can be cold processed. Wow. So these vessels, they make it up to 2,000 gallons. And look guys, everything is covered in plastic to make sure that there's no contamination. Absolutely. And the lids, you know, so that comes down. So when during mixing process, the lids are down. And uh, then you have uh, the 1,000 kilo or over 1,000, the 600 kilo and the 150 kilo. Wow. Rob, what do you think? You excited? This is where it's going to happen. Hey, you look great in a hairnet. Thank you. You do too. <laughs> What do you think, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go finish up our meeting, but I guess you want to end the vlog there? Sounds oh, like a wrap to me. Done we're not oh, done. Oh, wait a second. We're not done. We're not done. Peter's Hang on. More. Peter's got more oh, for us. More. Where are we going now, Peter? We're going out to fill. To fill? Yeah, where the filling happens. Ooh. You know, you have to get the product in a bottle. Yeah? It won't happen in there. No? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> So see, it's such an education. That is where they actually mix it. Now we're going to filling. And so uh, I'm excited to see where the real magic happens. <laughs> so back here, that is the shipping area. When products are done, as you can see here, they get palletized and don't wait for ship out, you know? So that's actually the shipping area. In here is our quarantine area. That means when we get raw material in, they don't go immediately into the warehouse, they stay here, they get tested in the lab, they test the raw material actually incoming, when they release it, then it goes into the, into the warehouse and then it can be used in the batch. Make sure you, you get what you got. Exactly. There's so much regulation to make sure that you're That's getting a pure product and it's not contaminated. Filling. These are two fillers, we have three of them. Two fillers here. Now, now we go further. Hey guys, say hello. 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 <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm back here. We fill right now a product for Alta. It's a uh, hand soap. Hand soap. Right now. And you can see back here that's our uh, filling line. Four hand fillers go from all the way to eight. We have hand fillers. This one is where lipstick is made. We're making lipstick on this table here. And that's the cooling table, they break the bullets out and then assemble it. And back here is the label machine. And yeah, that's basically and that's it. it. That's it. Rob, stop taking selfies. <laughs> so guys, thanks so much for watching Thank and you. we'll see you next time. See ya.